All right, guys, so we're gonna make this tutorial super easy and super quick because one, who doesn't like a makeup tutorial that's easy and quick, and two, my baby is asleep, and you know time is of the essence when your baby is asleep, so this video is not going to be very long at all. So I'm gonna start out with my foundation. This is a new one to me. I've never used it on my channel before. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. So, my skin's been kind of drier. I think it's also just the hormones changing and it's also kind of fall slash winter outside. It finally snowed today, which makes me a little sad, but also a little happy, you know, mixed emotions. So, we are going to try this out today and I've used it once before and I will say, the formula is a lot different than the Pro Matte and the Total Cover, which I've used on this channel many, many times before. Um, I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand like I always do. Ugh, I'm gonna open my mirror. I'm just gonna put this all over my face like normal. Um, and I will say that the formula is different, but also the coverage is different. This is definitely a sheerer. I would say the Pro Matte and Total Cover are more medium to full coverage. And this foundation is more sheer to medium, like you can build it up to a medium coverage, but it definitely starts out with a sheer coverage, especially if you use a beauty blender, like I do every time, just cause it's the easiest and most efficient way to blend my foundation for me anyway. So, you know, if you're looking for a more lightweight foundation and if your skin, honestly, my skin's combination, there are some dry patches and there are some oily patches and this works totally fine for me. So. If, I would say if you have dry to combination skin, this can definitely work for you, but it is more of a sheer coverage. Like it's not going to, as you can see, it's not gonna to cover totally my spots, but it's gonna even out my complexion, which I would say is what most people want. Maybe not like a super full coverage everyday foundation, but something that's just gonna make your skin look a little more even. But we're gonna move on to concealer. I've kind of forgotten how to do my makeup. It's been so long since I've actually worn makeup now that I'm kind of a hermit inside all day. <laughs> I kind of forget how to do my own makeup, but um, anyways, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade light, and I've used this a million times on my channel before. It's the perfect yellow undertone for my skin tone, and it does a really good medium coverage, so if you're using lighter coverage foundation, it's not gonna look too cakey or anything with your skin. And I'm just blending that out as such. Easy peasy. Like I said, this tutorial is gonna be fast and easy. The powder I'm going to use is the RCMA No Color Powder. This isn't technically drugstore powder, but it's this much, it's three ounces for like $10, I think. And it's a really good powder, but like I've said before a million times on the channel, I'm not gonna purchase it because of this reason alone. The packaging is horrific and I don't wanna do it anymore. I'm sick of it. So I'm gonna use it up because I bought it. It's taken forever to use that because there's so much. Um, and I honestly don't need to set my makeup right now because my skin is dry, but I'm just gonna do it because my under eyes do need setting. And they do get oily in my T-zone, so I'm just lightly powdering my face. But I could get away with not doing it. If you have dry skin, you probably don't need to powder. Okay, we're gonna move into bronzer. And I've used this on my channel before, but it's been a while. This is the Essence Sun Club and it's for blondes. It's huge, I mean, look how huge it is. It's a very warm bronze, and I like it, but it's so powdery. It smells really nice, it smells like coconut. I don't know if you can even see how powdery it is, but it is very, very powdery. But it's so cheap, the whole brand is like under $3, so I mean, if you can get past the powderiness and you're looking for like a warmer kind of bronzer, then I suggest trying this one out. And then we're just bringing my face back from the dead adding some color because mama is pale. It's not too orange, I mean, it's definitely a warmer bronzer, but you know, could be worse. It could be a lot more orange. Like the Benefit Hula bronzer on me right now would be like literally putting an orange Sharpie on my cheeks. I'm gonna use the bronzer, I'm not putting it away just yet. I'm gonna use the bronzer in my crease because I'm gonna use it as a transition shade slash all over base color. And I really like doing this like on an everyday basis, but it also is just a great transition if you're having a hard time finding a color that's suitable for your skin tone. Um, try using your bronzer. It works really well. And I just put a little bit underneath the lash line just to add a little bit of definition. 
and not all the way underneath, just maybe halfway. You could go a little bit more or a little bit less if you wanted, but I usually go around halfway underneath the eyes. Just to add a little bit of definition and hide my under eye bags because <laughs> I don't sleep that much. All right, so we're going to move into highlighter. This is the NYX Illuminator. I've only, I think I used this when I like first had a YouTube channel and I haven't really gone back to it since. So this is the NYX Illuminator in Ritualistic. This used to be really big on YouTube. I'm just saying it did. It used to have it, it had its moment and it's gone away, but it's still a pretty good highlighter. It's a little bit glittery, but you can't really tell once it's on your face. You can definitely see it in the pan, but you can't really see it on the skin. So I still really like this highlighter and I'm prone to powder highlights just because they're a little bit easier to blend out because cream ones, for some reason, they like to just like stick down to my skin immediately. The only cream highlighter that I really like is the Benefits What's, What's Up. That's the only one I really like. But besides that, I like powder highlights a little bit better. And you can really control how much highlight you're putting on your skin. You know what I mean? If you wanna go for a really intense highlight, you can do that by just wetting your brush. Or if you just want an everyday highlight, you can just go on dry. This is sounding a little bit awkward the way I'm saying things right now. But anyways, so we're done with the highlight. As you can see, it's pretty natural. It's not too crazy. It's just day to day. We already did the bronzer on the eyes and I've used a million of these on my channel before, but I don't know if I've used this specific one. This is the L'Oreal Paint Pots and this is in the shade Iced Latte. This can be a really intense like highlight in the inner corner of the eyes or anywhere else. This can be a really intense highlight if you just concentrate it on one area, but if you sheer it out, it can be just a really pretty kind of glossy shimmery top coat, which is what I'm going to use it for today. So I'm just taking a little bit on my finger and just blending it out all over my lid. And it kind of just makes a reflective thing going on, which is really pretty. I have so many colors of these, you guys, and if you're looking for some, they have some purples, greens, blues, all of them are really good. They're so easy to just use with your finger and they're so easy to blend out and they're just as good as high-end glitters and metallics. So if you're looking for something like that, I would really suggest these paint pots. Since it is an everyday makeup look, I'm not putting a ton on the inner corners, but I am putting a little bit on the inner corners and brow bone. And this is the Pixie, Pixie Endless Silky Eye Pen. And this also comes in a million different colors. It's a really, really cool product. So you can use it as an eyeliner and you basically put it on your eyes and you can smudge it out or you can just let it be and it'll stay there for the whole day once it's dried down. So really do love these. I have the brown bronze, bronze beam color. And it's a really great everyday, really pretty bronze. And I'm just adding a little bit to the outer corner and tapering it down. And you could even do a cat eye with this or whatever you wanted, but I'm just doing a really Making it a little bit thicker and then tapering it down. Really easy like that. And it just adds a little bit of definition to the eyes. I've even done it this way where I've added a little bit to the lower lash line. I'm really weary of adding eyeliner to my lower lash line. I just think it makes my eyes look very heavy. Um, so I typically don't, even on the, um, what's it called? The inner eyelid. Oh, what is it called? My waterline. I don't even put eye products on my waterline because I just feel like it makes my eyes look so heavy. I don't like how that looks on me. So it looks good on lots of other people. It just, just doesn't look good on me, you guys. And I'm just taking my finger and smudging it just a little bit, just to make the line not so harsh. So I'm just using my Everyday Maybelline Lash Sensational. It's a really great everyday mascara. Really enjoy it. So I'm just doing a quick coat here. This is really one of my favorites because it is a good job of adding some volume and length. It's not like the most lengthening, my favorite mascara is Lancome, but that stuff is like $25 per tube, so that is very expensive. Um, so when I don't feel like spending that money, this is a really great alternative. Have any mascara suggestions for me to try out? Let me know. And this is kind of the fall-esque factor to this whole thing. This is the Rimmel Kate Lipsticks, and this is in the shade 30. It's a very like berry, purpley red, very fall color, let me just show you. And what I like most about this lipstick is that it's very opaque. Like I feel with most lipsticks in general, very dark ones can be very, very patchy. This one goes on pretty smooth with just the first application. Let me show you. 
and I'm trying not to go too ham because a little bit of lipstick goes a very long way. So let's pray. Let us pray for a moment. And that's just the first swipe. And the more you use it, the darker it gets. Um, but there's no patchiness. It's very, very opaque. Um, you can even use this as a stain if you just blot it around your lips. Um, I'm going to go full. I'm going to go full out. Let's do it. And it smells like berry. 